Something cool online here with my darkest days. How you guys doing? Good man, yeah. doing all right. You guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Dougie. I play drums. I'm Sal. I play lead guitar and I sing in it as well. I'm Brendan. I play bass. Very cool. Or bass. Bass. Or bass. Or bass. Base, baseball bat. Bass. 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 Ball, bat, bat. Yeah. Bass ball. Bass ball. A little bass ball there. Cool. Yeah. We got it. Now, um, you guys actually won the uh, Rock Search 97.7 Hits FM. They're, we're in Buffalo, so it's kind of a local station right yeah. there. It's a pretty cool uh, thing to start off for you guys. That was uh, actually, we played the Rock Search twice too. And the first time we played it in 2006 was my first gig in the band ever. Yep. So it was like, oh, no pressure, just 10,000 bucks on the line. Don't worry about it, right? Yeah, yeah. We for two we weeks. Two weeks, and we still won third, which yeah. is pretty awesome, right? Very cool. Right? So, and then we took a year off from it, and then they invited us back the following year, right? And then that's the year we, uh, we won it. Very nice. And that actually led you guys to Nickelback's Chad Kroger. Heard you guys from there, and that started That's actually a, a myth. Bit. That's a myth. That's a myth. That's it's actually myth. on your um, I know, Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was actually the our, the original demos were given to Matt's brother Brad, who plays in Three Days Grace. Right. We were on tour with Nickelback. Chad heard the stuff. I, uh, I guess a lot of it happened around the same time, so I think that's why I kind of got all mashed into one thing. Well, the Rock Search, actually, after that first year we played, the next year they invited us back, but Matt was literally out west doing vocal takes okay. for that whole time. So it was right. like, hmm, record in Chad Croker's studio while it's available, or play Rock Search. We're like, sorry, Paul Morris, we're going to take this year off. He's like, totally understand. He's like, go do that, come back you right. know, next year. But that money from 97.7, I mean, that helped us tour independently forever like we just bought the cheapest van we could i remember we're looking through pictures of it these guys are all camped out in the back sleeping in the back of this cargo van and that money that i think we got you know seven and a half grand or something that just was gas money and insurance money basically yeah right? definitely there yeah. you go so that, kept us, off. that kept us going forever and ever right and then the release actually hit singles right off the bat so that got you guys rolling into what you are now yeah we were really lucky man to uh to have porn star hit number one it was there for a few weeks and like that that really just started our entire career right yeah. there yeah and still to this day like you know we're so lucky to have had that opportunity it was, a, it was just perfect timing you guys have a couple of great mixes on that too ludicrous is in one right yeah, yeah. Ludo, Ludo, and he's such a nice guy too that was the coolest part about uh working with ludicrous I remember we were shooting the video and we were all kind of just hanging out. Ludacris shows up with his entire crew and he kind of beelines it, goes through, everybody comes right up to us. He's just like, hey man, I just want to thank you guys for letting me be a part of this. And we're like, what? Ludacris just thanked us? Yeah. What the hell's going on here? We're thanking this guy. Like, like yeah, it's all, it to us. it's all good, dude. It's all good. Yeah, right? <laughs> he was really cool though, even the way like when he did his take, he just walks in, he looks at it, he's like, no, I want girls here, a girl here, then this, and he's going through the first take. The camera guy's not doing what he's doing. He just grabs the camera and like, point at her, look at her, right? Yeah. And it was it just the way he worked. It was like everyone was like, holy crap, that guy's a pro, right? He just walked right in and was like, it's like this, boom, done. Three hours in, out, gone. Take some like, notes for that, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Definitely. You guys just put on another CD a couple months ago. Yeah. Uh, when did it come out in Mar yeah, March. March. Yeah, it came out in March, and uh, we're just finishing up a headline tour. Uh, we've been on the road for about seven months now, mm -hmm. and actually to, to Ottawa in six days from now, I think, or seven days from now is the last show, October 27th. Yeah. So more than six days from now. October 27th is, is the official last show of the tour. Um, of our tour, but this, our tour. this actual this spring of the tour, fall, yeah, otherwise, so last this is yeah. the last day of it, right? So. Yeah, and then we're gonna start working on a new record for 2013. Perfect. That's really cool. Yeah, we've got a little house rental. Me and Matt and Reed are all gonna stay in the house and we're gonna have a jam space and just everybody's gonna record and it's always the best way when it's just you guys. You don't have like a label in there trying to push you what to do one way or another. If it's well, you guys. I mean, I understand you guys do have a label. I'm saying yeah. when you guys are doing the actual, it's yeah, a lot easier. From it's it's going to be a lot of pre-production. Like it's going to be like us. Like we're going to record it. You know, sitting in a room together and do it like a lot more, a lot more live off the floor stuff. I think it's going to be good. Right. More more band feel for sure. Right. Yeah. That, and I and I always found we did it back in the day. We me and Doug we all used to live in this. Uh, or like live in jam space in mm -hmm. Toronto, right? And that was how one of the reasons why people were we were able to tour because booking agents saw us and were like, wow, you guys, because we live together, we have nothing, no money, we just practice all the time, every day, every day for hours and hours and hours and hours, right? So then finally the booking agents were like, okay, yeah, that's right. It was like, I think that's what, you know, opened a lot of doors for us, just practicing a lot. People saw how much we did and they're like, oh, okay. 
Yeah, definitely. You guys are putting in the work. It shows So I think that's one of the a really good way to do it. If you all live with each other and you're all in the same house, like do that. You just you just end up working all the time, right? Yeah. Just, we wanted to be like a seasoned band at a green level. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. when most bands come out the gates, it's like it's it's as if they're playing their first few shows ever. But we had played so much before that it was kind of like. We were already a band. Well, even, even, even now, even to, now, to, to yeah. then, like we were watching the videos when we first started touring, and it was like, oh Stop. god, we we were just, you know, very green, green. very very green, and uh, yeah, such such a big difference from then until now. You have to yeah. think like we went from a basement, literally, and then oh, we were watching videos of like three years ago of us at these festivals with like 30,000 people and I think we were watching one where the, the camera was behind Doug and you just see us who've been a, like on tour for probably a few weeks and then there's like a festival of like 30,000 people and right. we're like what the hell do we do yeah. on this stage like yeah. so big yeah it's definitely going to be a new experience for you when you yeah, guys to, yep. being all confined and hearing each other then you hit these stages you can't hear each other and you just like don't know what to do it's crazy. And I, I think it's uh, because album sales, like you don't make any money off album sales. People are like, oh yeah, album's great, I'll download it, listen to it, that's fine. But people, like the way that you're going to make a living now more is like live shows, right? Yeah, And for if sure. you're not good live and people aren't going to buy the tickets, then you're pretty much screwed. Right? Yeah, definitely. It's not like you can be the Beatles anymore and just sit in a studio and put out amazing, crazy albums and then not tour. And then that's your career, right? I don't think you can, it's not really possible anymore. No, not with this day and age. I mean, no. everything's so different. You got social media, you got, like I said, the downloads, things like that. Absolutely. So it's, it's so accessible, it's, right? Mm-hmm. Plus, you know, you put on a good show. It, word spreads, hey, I just check these guys out, check them out, you know, things like that definitely helps. Absolutely, yeah. man. Now, NHL 13, you guys got a track on that? Yep. We listen to it and play NHL 13 all the time. It's actually, it's pretty awesome. We're, we, we're going through and I'll kind of forget, me and Reed will be like playing a game. All of a sudden, uh, Save Yourself Save comes yourself. on yeah. and it's like, yes, that's so awesome. We're on this, right? Well, especially now with the lockout going on, I mean, a lot of people are went through hockey fixture and they go right to the game. Yeah, that should actually turn on to new fans for you guys or playing a game. We're like, what's that in the background? Let me, you know, yeah, get more and information. And it says it on the screen too. It'll come up on the bottom like letters when each when the song changes and stuff. It'll come up my darkest days. That's gotta be right? pretty cool for you guys. You know, check yeah. it out, especially yeah. the first time you see oh, it. Oh yeah, you know, that's us right I there. I remember playing to steal, man, for regular Nintendo. Oh yeah, back yeah, in the day. NHL '94 you know? and yeah. shit. Yeah. NHL two like 2013. It's pretty incredible. Though. If you get used to like the, you can still have like the '94 setup, so it's like the old, yeah. like two button thing. But to learn how to play the game, the new one, it's pretty crazy. It's awesome. Pretty looks cool. looks very good. Pretty cool. You have a better chan chance of actually becoming a real hockey player than learning how to, <laughs> than <laughs> learning how to this play. game. I can't. I'm like, wow, this is pretty complicated. <laughs> now, for those that want to pick up the CD, figure out what you guys are doing next. You guys got Twitter, Facebook. Everything? Yeah, mydarkestdays.com. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We run it all ourselves. So if you message us or tweet at us, we're probably one of us. That's cool. A BlackBerry, because you know, <clears throat> so easy to have that stuff, right? Yeah, definitely. Everybody has Twitter on their phone and Facebook and stuff, right? So it's it's largely us that does that. Right? Yeah, well, all the links are like Twitter, Facebook, whatever, whatever, slash My Darkest Days, if yeah. anyone wants to find us. Easy. And from the main website, I'm sure there's going to be links to hook Absolutely, up yeah. everything right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I'm glad to see that you guys are actually doing it. I mean, sometimes some of these bands, you can definitely tell it's just, you know, oh well, man, such and such today. Well, there's yeah. nice outside, you know what yeah. I mean? You can tell it's just somebody not there. Yeah. The, the label or something. <laughs> Welcome to for. our show, fans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, anything else you want to promote? Pump up. Yeah, uh, new, new album. Record. New record for 2013. We're literally going home tomorrow to start working on it. Very cool. Yeah. So All right, make sure you guys check out the website. You'll yep. go to their Facebook or their Twitter. I'm sure you guys will update daily what's going on, what's new. For sure. Now, yeah. let me ask you this real quick. If you guys got a track that you're putting out, you're trying to feel it out, is there any chance that you guys might just release it on your Twitter or your Facebook? Hey, check this out. What do you guys think? Probably not. Yeah, no. No, only because um, it's it's if we were an independent band, we'd probably be able to do that. But mm -hmm. when you're kind of at a major uh, label level, and you have so many people working for you, you can't just throw out stuff without the consent of uh, yeah, there'd team be, of people. There'd be some legal issues if we just decided to do stuff. It would like be that. cool though. Yeah, it would, would be, be cool, cool if we could do that, right? But we do occasionally. We'll just film like social cam. We'll just pick like a cover song and just sit there okay. in the room and yeah. play it like acoustic and do stuff like that. Cool. That's kind of fun, right? And I'm sure in the coming months when we have no shows, it's going to be lots more time to do that. Yeah. <laughs> right? Cool. All right, guys. Thank you guys very much. Right, thank you. Thanks. Thank you.